Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Weinicher for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scaretube before here bringing you another Minecraft uh, sci-fi slash miscellaneous uh, vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and blowing the Sonic X Hyper Tornado. The Hyper Tornado is a transformation of Tails Tornado 2 biplane in Sonic X. Um, it's a secretly upgraded plane for Tails as a farewell gift to him. The plane is somewhat faster than the X Tornado but about the si same size as it. As seen in the first appearance when Tails uh, was attacking the Grand Egg Imperial, the plane has lasers uh, besides the cockpit, several missile launchers in, the, in front of the cockpit, and a plasma blast that is fired from the plane's nose. Uh, so anyways, it's interesting jet, to say the very least. I'm not really familiar with it as I'm not a big Sonic fan, uh, but it was uh, requested as a Patreon request, so I want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Fernand Wenninger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can pledge a small amount every month and earn a uh, vehicle request of your choice uh, for doing so. So lots of cool benefits for it and it uh, helps me out directly. So feel free to check it out if you guys are interested. Um, anyways, going ahead and just diving into it, let's take a look at the jet and see exactly what we're going, to, going ahead and building. Um, I can definitely see this jet being re uh, kind of purpose for a lot of you guys to kind of make it into some kind of cool little um, sci-fi, you know, space fighter or something like that. It kind of gives me that kind of vibe. Um, so uh, I hopefully I got it accurate. Um, there's a lot of different pictures and angles and uh, lots of confusing stuff for it. So I'm hoping that I got the right one kind of complete. Uh, lots of different models, variations and stuff. But um, I think for the most part, I was able to capture it really well from what I was able to find on the... Um, Google images and all that stuff for it. So start off with obviously we have the nose. It's kind of got a white, blue, and yellow camo scheme, or I should say color scheme. It's not really camo, but um, with you know the lack of you know blue stairs in the slabs and stuff like that, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult. So the purse kind of filling in for that role. Uh, so we have the front up here, the nose, the cockpit, um, two. Uh, I imagine these are the laser cannons I kind of mentioned earlier on both sides here. Uh, we have a giant kind of intake that goes all the way around the bottom and to the sides here. And we got wings also on uh, obviously the both, both sides here. Uh, we also have our vertical stabilizers, uh, no horizontal stabilizers on this. Um, the two jet engines here and um, some little fins on the bottom here and all that fun stuff. But that's pretty much the uh, jet in a nutshell. It's definitely very interesting and definitely very unique. And you can kind of see just looking at it why you get kind of a spacey um, starfighter type of vibe from it. Um, but overall, hopefully you guys do enjoy it and are able to put it to good use. And again, special thanks to Ferdinand Wenninger. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pop into the tutorial by beginning with our first uh, layer, layer one. All right, guys, so moving into the tutorial, the uh, first layer we'll be going ahead and starting off with is layer two. Layer two is just a little bit easier to start off with as it uh, gives us a nice basis for layer one to connect to easily and also gives us a good segue into layer three. Um, if you guys are completely new to the way I like to structure my tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll do half the build on camera and then between uh, layers you'll copy the half I don't do, uh, basically over from looking at the air side. So it's pretty straightforward and um, should be relatively easy to get the hang of if you're completely new to my tutorials. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into it and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have the center line of the jet. Now the jet is completely symmetrical, so we have the center line. Everything that's going to be on the right side here is going to be on the left side of the jet. So to begin with, we're going to place down a row of four of iron trap doors. And just a quick thing to note is that these iron trap doors are on the top half of the block. So you can see right here, looking at this block, for example, how they're kind of structured and they go across like that. Now after this row of four of iron trap doors, we're going to place down a sandstone slab, followed by a black hole block, smooth sandstone block, quartz full block, quartz upside down stair and quartz top slab coming off the upside down stair. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides now. So what I'll be doing over here on the right side, you're going to copy over to the left side. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a sandstone stair, place down a sandstone upside down stair. Um, that's going to be coming off this sandstone top slab here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a prepare stair, place down an upside down prepare stair. Going ahead and continuing our way back, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair, come off the smooth sandstone block. After that sandstone upside down stair, we're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs back. We're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves some quartz stairs. We're going to place down a quartz stair that's going to come off this sandstone upside down stair, followed by a quartz uh, stair back, and then we're going to place down a iron trap door coming off this quartz stair like that. 
and uh, you'll just go ahead and copy that over to the other side and you'll see you have something that looks just like this for the first uh, layer we're doing, layer two. Uh, with that, we'll move on to our, uh, actually one last thing, um, I forget that sometimes these item frames don't transfer over when you use world edit. So real quickly, we're gonna grab some item frames and also some black wool. We're gonna place down an item frame on this side of the sandstone stair on both sides here. And we're gonna place down a black wool block in the item frame like that for the uh, intakes here. Um, so just go and make sure that's on both sides. But anyways, uh, that's it for layer two. With that, let's move on to layer one. All right, guys, so moving on to layer one. Layer one, we're gonna do pretty much all together. It's uh, really simple. We're gonna place down an iron trap door on the bottom of this first quartz stair. We're gonna go and place down two quartz top slabs back and then an iron trap door come off this quartz top slab like that. So you get something that looks just like this for the little fin down here. And same thing over here. Again, really simple. And you're gonna do this on both sides just like that. Once you have that done, that's going to do it for layer one. And with that, we'll move on to our next layer, layer three. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Layer three, we have a lot more going on, so uh, let's go and dive into it. Now to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and go to the iron trap door that's on the very end of this row of four here. Uh, we're gonna place down a quartz full block on top of it. So it's gonna be this quartz full block right here. We're just gonna place down uh, basically the quartz full block right on top of this iron trap door. Now coming off this quartz full block toward the front, we're gonna place down two quartz full blocks, followed by a sandstone upside down stair like so. Two prepare top slabs, a sandstone top slab, and then an iron trap door. So you should get something that kind of looks like this for the front here like that. Now going back from this quartz full block, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. So this quartz full block should end on top of this um, sandstone slab right here. We're then going to place down a black wool block back, followed by two quartz blocks, a black wool block, two polished andesite blocks, uh, stone brick up sound stair, quartz top slab coming off this stair, and an iron trap door on the end here. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and work our ways out to the sides now. So we're going to start off by going to the front here on both sides of this um, this sandstone top side. We're going to place down a wooden trap door. Going back from it, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And then we just want to place down a sandstone top side coming off both sides of the sandstone upside down stair. Once that's done, we're going to grab ourselves some quartz top slabs. We're going to place down one and two. Going back from the sandstone top slab, we're going to switch to sandstone stairs. And we're going to place down one, two three, four, and five um, sandstone uh, upside down stairs going back along the side here like so. We then want to place down a narrow black wool block, which is going to be on both sides of this one right here. We're then going to place down another two quartz full blocks back, followed by another black wool block on top of this quartz top slab. Uh, this time, however, coming off this uh, black wool block on both sides, we're going to place down a stone button like that for the jet engines. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and continue on uh, working our way out to the sides now. So coming off of this, last quartz uh, stair here in this long row of five. We're gonna place down a um, sandstone stair coming off of it like so. We then wanna go ahead and place down a prepare stair after the sandstone stair, and then we're gonna place down a second sandstone stair after the prepare stair. Uh, we then wanna place down a quartz top slab followed by a skeleton skull going back. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and go up to the front here again. We're gonna grab ourselves a prepare slab, place it down coming off the, um, place a top slab going off the back of the sandstone stair followed by a row of one, two, and three quartz top slabs back, and then a skeleton skull on the end here. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a prepare slab coming off this quartz um, top slab here, followed by one and two quartz top slabs back, and then a sandstone top slab like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and repeat that two more times. So we have the prepare slab, or top slab, two quartz top slabs, and a stone top slab like that. And then one more time, prepare top slab, right up here, and then two quartz top slabs back and a uh, stone top slab like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go, ahead and go off of this uh, quartz top slab here. We're gonna place down one, two, and three. Prepare top slabs to the side, and then we're gonna place down one, two, and three quartz top slabs coming off those, and then again, one, two, and three stone slab uh, top slabs coming off of those as well. Once that's done on the ends here, we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two sandstone top slabs coming off of these like that and then we're going to place down uh one and two prepare top slabs after that uh we're then going to grab ourselves a red wool block and a we have sandstone top slabs we're going to go and place down two red wool blocks coming off these two prepare top slabs and then we're going to place down a sandstone top slab coming off both ends of these two red wool blocks uh once that's all done that's going to do it over here for the right side you'll take that same design copy it over to the left side and you should have something that looks just like this looking at it from up above once that's all done though, that's going to do it for layer three. And with that, we can move on to layer four. All right guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. 
Flare Ford, go ahead and get started here. We're gonna work on the center line. We're gonna place down a sandstone, red sandstone block on top of this iron trap door up here on the nose. We then wanna place down a uh, red sandstone slab coming off that red sandstone block there for the front there like that. Once that's done, going back from the red sandstone block, we're gonna place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a blue wool block, and then two black wool blocks going back. We can choose to go ahead and fill in this space right here, or we can choose just to leave a, sp a space of five open. So you can choose if you wanna fill this space in, leave it open, uh, but it's a space here for a cockpit. If you wanna add something there, you guys can feel free to do so. Uh, but we'll just leave a space of five right here um, for you guys to mess with. Um, anyways, we're then going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block. So again, row five of space in between this black wool block here and this quartz full block. Um, after the quartz full block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine quartz full blocks back. So we'll end on top of this quartz top slab and you should have a total of what is going to be, I believe, nine. Um, or sorry, my bad, ten uh, of these quartz full blocks back. Um, so once that's done, we're then going to place down two quartz top or half subs going back from this row of 10 and you'll see here that they Start on this iron trap door and go back like that Once that's all done, uh, we're going to work our way out to the side So we're going to go and start off on the front here We're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this wooden trap door here on both sides We're then going to place down one and two per per stairs back followed by a sandstone stair like that We then want to place down two quartz stairs going back Followed by one, two, three, and four quartz full, uh, uh, or sorry, five quartz full blocks going back. We're then going to place down a black wool block on uh, both sides here. We're going to continue by placing down a narrow row of uh, quartz full blocks. We have one, two, and three back. We're then going to place down a quartz stair facing this direction, followed by a quartz stair coming off the stair. So we create a corner stair, regular stair like that, and then come off this regular stair and place down a quartz slab that goes back like so. Um, then going up here to the um, vents here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair that's going to be kind of on top, upside down, and on top of this one like that to create a little bit of a vent there. And we then want to go ahead and follow that up by placing down a prepare upside down stair and another sandstone upside down stair like that, followed by a quartz stair after it. Now on the backs of these stairs, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, yellow and blue banners. On the back of the sandstone stairs, we're going to place down yellow banners. On the back of the first stair, we're going to place down a blue banner like that. Um, also, one thing I kind of left out in the previous layer that we're going to be doing also on this layer is grabbing our iron frames and also some black wool. We're going to place down iron frames on these two sandstone stairs. We're going to place down black wool in the iron frame like that. And same thing over here, like that again for those intakes. Uh, once that's all finished uh, there, um, that's pretty much good to go for that. And the last thing we're going to do is move to the tips of our wings here and um, actually have our wing all together. We're going to grab some yellow carpet, some blue carpet, um, some brick slabs, and also um, some more yellow carpet. So for this, we're going to place down uh, blue carpet on all these prepared slabs. So whichever one we can place down blue carpet on, we're going to place it down on and also on top of these top slabs here. On top of the sandstone top slabs, we're going to place down yellow wool our yellow carpet and then we want to place down two brick slabs on top of these two uh, red bolt blocks like that. Once that's all done though that's going to do it for uh, layer three or sorry layer four my bad and with that we'll move on to layer five. Alright guys move on to our next layer we have layer number five. For layer five we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the front here. We're going to do our center line so we're going to go ahead and place down some uh, or two, one, or two uh, iron trap doors one on top of this sand, uh, sandstone full block right here and this blue wool block right here. We're gonna place down two nether brick slabs on top of these two black wool blocks. After those nether brick slabs, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five, like gray stained glass, followed by a dark or a nether brick stair like this on the back. After the nether brick stair, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, and five nether brick slabs going back, followed by two iron trap doors, and they're gonna place down two black carpets going back from that. We then want to go ahead and start working our way out to the sides here. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves like gray stained glass. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five like gray stained glass panes along the side here. We're going to place down a uh, red sandstone top slab coming off this narrow brick stair on both sides. We then want to place down a yellow wool block back, followed by two blue wool blocks back, and then a stone brick top slab back like that. Uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some yellow wool and also some blue wool. We're going to place down uh, yellow wool on top of these two sandstone upside down stairs and blue wool on top of the proper uh, upside down stair like that. Once that's done, go into the back section here. We're going to go ahead and place down a proper stair uh, on top of this quartz stair like that, facing that direction. 
come off the purple stairs back. We're going to place down a second purple stair. So we kind of uh, turn this one into a corner stair, regular stair here, and then a quartz stair that goes back like that um, for the start here of your vertical stabilizers. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer five. With that, we're going to move on to our last final layers, which are going to consist of layers six, seven, and eight. We're going to put the top of the vertical stabilizers on, the cockpit, and um, all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layers, we have layers six through eight. To go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to the cockpit. We're going to go ahead and go to the second light gray stained glass full block back. We're going to place down a iron trap door on top of that block, followed by two um, leather brick slabs back, and then a iron trap door like that after it. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the um, kind of uh, laser cannons, I guess, right here. We're going to place down a sandstone slab on top of the... Um, on top of the uh, yellow wool ones, and then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves prefer slabs and place them down on top of the blue wool ones. Uh, also, on top of this stone brick uh, upside down or top slab here, we're going to place down a blue carpet on both sides, like that. Uh, once that's all done, there uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to our um, vertical stabilizers here and build those up. So, for these, we're going to go ahead and uh, start off by going ahead and going to the side here. So, from the back of this prefer stair right here, we're going to go ahead and go up and out at an angle like this, followed by a quartz stair after it. We then want to go ahead and continue that up by placing down a prepare stair that's going to go up and out from the quartz stair right here. So it's going to be something just like this. And then from this prepare stair, we actually want to go ahead and angle it. So we're going to place down a quartz stair like this, and then we're going to go ahead and angle the prepare stair so it's like that. After that, coming off these uh, stairs here, we're going to go ahead and place down a brick slab like that going up on both sides here and the sandstone uh, slab that's going to come off both ends of those brick slabs. Now we just need to go ahead and copy um, what we did over on the left side over here to the right side. So we're just going to go ahead and copy the same thing over here. So just like this and just like that. And then we're just going to place down two brick slabs like so. And once we have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the Sonic X Hyper Tornado. Uh, interesting vehicle for sure, and I uh, hope you guys can all enjoy it and find some use for it. Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Weinacher for making this video possible. And if you guys are all interested, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is down in the description. And that, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do any business using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being a thing from a sign the build to link to my channel or this video if this touch upon any social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.